we've got Jared Brantwaite is England's best centre back. Now, Jared Brantwaite this season he hasn't put a single foot wrong. He he's been unbelievable and on form this season. He's probably top five centre backs in the league. I'd say. You know, you've got Ruben Diaz and people like that. But uh, in form, Jared Brantwaite hasn't put a, a foot wrong to suggest that he shouldn't be in the England squad. And and I, I seen Gareth Southgate watching on on the weekend against Chelsea. So I hope he's got him in his in, in his considerations. Actually, I hope not. To be honest, I hope he doesn't go to the England <laughs> team. But um. England's best hands back to stretch because obviously you've got John Stones who's miles ahead of everyone really, isn't he? But not a great player, yeah. Speaking of John Stones, I think when John Stones was at Everton, Jared Brantwaite is better defensively than John Stones was at Everton. Obviously not now, but I feel like there's a lot more, we've got a lot more to suggest there's more potential there, if that makes sense. You know, we've seen yeah. a, lot, a lot more from from Bramford than we did from Stones, um, and all Everton fans should be stupidly excited about Jared Bramford because he's when he signed from from the age of seventeen, you knew this this was a good sign and about the, the, the people raving about him and stuff like that and obviously at the great yeah. season at PSV, but England's best centre back I'm not sure on that, but I do think he, he's a better all round defender than than John yeah. Stones was at Everton. He's composed and and. You know the way the way he plays out from the back pass, it controls the ball and he, and defends. It's like he's been playing football for, for for twenty years, professional football at the highest level. Like you wouldn't not think this is Jared Brantwaite's first proper season in the Premier League, would you? Lee? No, no, not at all. Jared Brantwaite, um, like you said, twenty. It's, it's where he was playing football in the Premier League for twenty years, like. Everything is just so simple for him. Yeah. It's so simple. Like and that's what you need in the fair like especially at the centre half position. You just need to be simple, you need to know how to track a run, you need need to know when to cut the ball out, when to take a player down for the fill. Things like that. And he's just so simple with it. Yeah. In my opinion. Now, who do you have in the England squad ahead of him? Like Harry Maguire, I think, is usually Usually there and said half like yeah he does get in ahead of Harry Maguire but also Harry got, Maguire uh, has Ezri Conza too who's been he's been in great form this season as well yeah there you go as well well I know <laughs> the only way I can I can put it myself he he, he walks in and probably even nearly takes a couple of damn band off Seamus Coleman for Ireland <laughs> 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 that's the best way we can put it there that that's how much of a good good centre half he is um, Esri Conte also great this season as well for Villa Harry Maguire you could throw him in the mix there mm-hmm. absolutely 110% now in the next year or two if he's getting constant games in the Premier League there, there's no way you have Gareth okay or whoever could be the England manager at that time sticking that nose up to him because yeah. He's, he's just been phenomenal. Yeah. 